Right, so we're going to get started everybody. We're going to start off in a cross-legged seated position. Um, today's session is about being as comfortable as you want to be, listening to your body, not taking things too far, um, working with your breath. And we're going to start with that breath work and then we're going to start with a really slow warm up throughout the body we're going to hold the poses a little bit longer and um, so getting used to that breath work is really important so just to start with we're going to go into that cross-legged position now if you want if you feel a little bit sort of closed down in this cross-legged cross position you might just want to bring yourself up onto a pillow and that can be quite nice um, just to elevate and that can take some pressure off the hips so if you do struggle with crossing your legs just have them a little bit more relaxed and use your pillow behind you. Other option is to take the pillow away and just separate your bum and try and get onto your sit bones here and that can be really nice and grounded. So to start with we're going to focus on the in and out breath. We're going to breathe in through the nose like we've done in other sessions and out through the nose. Really important when you're breathing in through the nose, try and take that breath all the way down to the belly and allow the belly to expand. Now when we do breath work, when we take a nice deep breath in slowly and out slowly, it actually affects the vagus nerve at the back here. Um, so the vagus nerve is stimulated when we have a panic attack and that's because it's part of our flight or fight response. So when we're breathing a lot shallower and heavier, that's stimulated and that stimulates the nervous system um, to actually get that fight or flight response. So you get adrenaline and that's when your body goes into that stress mode. So what we're doing by taking them slow deep breaths in is actually switching that flight or fight to rest and digest. So actually the parasympathetic nervous system starts to kick in. And that allows them stress hormones to reduce. And I think at the moment, with everything that's happening, it's a really good time to tune into that breath. So today is going to be a lot about the breath um, and a lot about holding the poses for as long as we can. So just to start with, place your hands relaxed onto your thighs. Maybe sort of give yourself a bit of a wiggle, move the shoulders and just place them onto your thighs here nice and relaxed. Closing down the eyes and I want you to take just your normal deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Another deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And now start to incorporate breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. If you can, try and breathe in for a count of four through the nose and breathe out for a count of four through the nose. Breathing in for that four and out for four. Take a few moments here to get used to that breathing using your own breath going with your breath and your breathing pattern. Try and breathe in, push the belly button out. And as you exhale through the nose for that count of four, try and pull that belly button back in. Nice and slow and controlled. Thinking of that count of four, breathing in. Maybe hold and then release out for a count of four. When you're ready, start to wiggle the fingers. Maybe circle the ankles. Slowly open your eyes if they're not already open. And we're going to start to warm up with that breath from the head through to the toes. So first of all, take a deep breath in through the nose and look up towards the ceiling. Exhale whilst looking up. Make sure the shoulders are flat down the back, shoulder blades are relaxed. Take a deep breath in, 
exhale, bring chin to chest. Maybe close the eyes off. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. We're not bringing these shoulders up. Try and let the head be heavy. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, take the head all the way back up with slow and control. Notice here any tightness in the throat, in the neck. If you struggle with this position, just ease out a little bit. And then one last one, taking a deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, bring that chin towards the chest again, nice and slow. And just notice how this feels in this position. How does the neck feel? Any tightness? Any pain down the arms? And when you're ready, on your next exhale, bring the neck back to centre. We're now going to take the right ear to the right shoulder, which we've done before. So take a deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, take that right ear to the right shoulder. And just notice how tight that feels down the side of the neck. If this feels easy, we can take that progression. We can then take the right hand, placing it over the head with a little bit of overpressure. Really important, be nice and tall. If this feels easy, you can then take the hand out to the side and just stretch through and you'll really feel that through the neck and the arm. And just take some deep breaths here, holding this position. So we're working on holding the stretches today a little bit more. It's a little bit more yin based. When we're flowing and we're moving, we call that a bit more yang. But when we're yinning, we're taking our time and actually feeling what our body's doing. At any point, you can come out of these. On your next inhale and exhale, we're going to come out. So inhale in. Exhale, bring the head slowly back to centre and we're going to swap sides. So inhale. Exhale, take the left ear to the left shoulder. Make sure that shoulder's not up. Make sure that shoulder's down. Make sure the shoulder blades are pulling away. Again, if this feels okay and you feel you can progress, take the left hand. Place it onto the side of the head and just gently apply a little bit of pressure and see if that deepens that stretch on that right side. If that then feels okay, extend the right arm out to the side and feel that stretch here. Taking your time, thinking about your breathing in for four and out for four. So by using the breath, we can allow our muscles to relax a little bit more into stretches. One more breath here, in and out. Inhale, exhale, release, come back to centre. So inhale now, bring the shoulders up to the ears, and as you exhale, round the shoulder blades back. So we're going to do four more of these. Inhale up, exhale down. And again, inhale up, exhale round the shoulders. Try and imagine you're pushing those shoulder blades together like you've got a pencil, you're squeezing it, and release. Inhale up, exhale round down here. Lovely. We're going to go for some cat cows now to start to warm up through the whole spine. So to start with, we're going to look up and we're going to arch our back. So from the side view, we're going to look up, arch, maybe pull your, your hands onto your knees and actually look up in this position. Make sure the shoulders have dropped. As you exhale, you're then going to round through, bring your chin to your chest, into your angry cat position. You're going to inhale, come back up, and then you're going to exhale, round back down. As you round, bring it Pull in the core muscles here. Pull that belly button towards your spine. And now do another few in your own time with your own breath. Inhaling as you come up and exhaling as you round down. Really good for the spine. Our spines are designed to move 
when we spend so long in static sitting positions, and I know I'm terrible for it, especially if I'm watching Netflix, whoo, I've been here for hours. So it's really good to work through the spine in this movement. One more, one more up, and one more down. Lovely, so hopefully we're starting to feel really warmed up now. Okay, so let's take some side bends now. So we've done these before. We're gonna take the arms up as high as we can and spread through the fingers. Look up for me here. Take the right hand down. Maybe to start with, this is enough. Try and stretch over to the right side. Opening up the ribs here. If this feels okay, you might want to go a little bit lower, but we're not forcing much today. We're just going with what our body's telling us. So you might just want to just relax and release here, okay? Make sure that bicep is onto the ear and you're stretching up from here. So we're not here, we're not closed. We're nice and tall. Imagine we're in a pane of glass. And we're just going to hang out here, taking them deep breaths. Make sure the shoulder's not up, make sure it's low down. And just feel and notice that breath into the side of the ribs here. When you're ready, on your next exhale, you're gonna return back to center, stretch up, inhale, exhale, we're gonna to go to the opposite side. So come on over in your own time, maybe going onto the forearm if you want to go lower, or just hanging out here. So we're just listening to our body a little bit more. Make sure that bicep is near the ear, Make sure we're sort of pointing up and away and we're not closing down. Make sure we're not rounded or too back. And just hang out here, taking the nice deep breaths for me. Maybe closing off the eyes and noticing where you're feeling it. Maybe noticing the rise and fall in the rib cage in this position. Okay, on your next breath in and out, we're gonna to return to center. Take a deep breath in, come to the center, out. Inhale up again, and we're gonna go for one more each side. We're doing nice and slow this week. Coming over. Maybe this time, because you're taking them deep breaths, you can come a little bit lower, maybe onto the forearm here. No pressure if not. Make sure that biceps towards the ear. Make sure you're nice and tall. So I'm at my little beach here. This is my vibes today. Beach vibes. With it being warm and everything. Okay. Come back up with your breath. So inhale up, exhale up to the top, inhale again, and exhale, come to the other side. Maybe onto the forearm this time if you're feeling a little bit more flexible. Make sure that biceps at the ear, make sure we're pointed away. Make sure we're not arching down. Make sure we're nice and open, so we're really open through the ribs here. And just take the nice deep breaths again in your own time. Oh, let me put the arm straight on from falling asleep there. <laughs> and when you're ready, take a deep breath in. Exhale, come up and release back down here. Lovely. So we're going to take a little bit of a side rotation now. We're going to take the hands out in front, stretch through the fingers. We're going to inhale, exhale, take the hand, follow with your neck to the back here and just feel any tightness in this rotation. Taking some deep breaths as you inhale. Exhale, come back, and then to the other side. So taking the arm all the way back, and just noticing how that feels in the body. So really try and rotate round. What you might find to get more rotations if you squeeze your belly button in your core, that pulling in allows you to go a little bit further. And then back to centre, and then the last side. Opposite way, follow with the neck. If the neck's sore, try and bring the neck a little bit further forward. So if you find that you're struggling to look back here, just turn the neck to the side if you struggle with neck pain. Exhale back to centre. Inhale and exhale to the back. Maybe tuck the belly in to get a little bit further and feel that rotation into here. And just notice any tightness in the shoulders. When you're ready, return to center. Lovely. So, 
with the legs now. We're gonna go for a little bit of a stretch. What I'm gonna get you to do, bring your, I'm gonna say palms of your feet, bring, your, bring the soles of your feet together. Um, and if you can, try and have a bit of a stretch out here. Now what you might find is that this is a bit too much, so you might only be here, which is absolutely fine. You might want to place cushions or, or bricks under here, if that feels, if you find that you're struggling with your knees. If it feels easy, you might just want to take the legs a little bit further in. Really important here, try and be upright with the spine. So make sure in this position, as you're holding this stretch, we're not rounded. Try and be up here. Maybe go some butterfly flutters. So maybe, maybe, maybe actually hitting the legs onto the floor and making some sound and notice what that feels like. You might just want stillness here taking your breaths, you might want to move. Okay. If you can, in this position, try and lean slightly forward. So we're gonna go for a forward fold. Really important with the forward fold, we're not here. I want you to come up and try and hinge forward so you can see the back is straight. We're not rounding, we're straight and just start to hinge from the hips forward into this forward bend. Holding onto your feet for a little bit of support, maybe pushing the elbows to help get the legs down. And we're just gonna go into this forward fold here. So taking some nice deep breaths, opening the hips, maybe bringing the hands to here, and maybe coming a little bit lower. Just take a nice deep breath in and out. Feel the hips opening. If this gets too much, bring the feet a little bit further forward to take that pressure off the hips, but try not to be here. We want you to be upright and then stretching here. So it's all coming from your hips and not your spine. When you feel ready at your own time, we're gonna come out of that stretch and I want you to take the legs out to the side. So the legs are nice and wide in this position as wide as you want them to be. Really important, when we're doing this stretch, we want it to be active. So actually, when we contract the front muscles, so for example, if we contract our thighs, what's happening is our hamstrings are actually lengthening because muscles work with contraction and, and relaxation. So if we contract here, we can actually get more stretch through the hamstrings. So we're gonna take a side stretch now. So you're going to take the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, bring your left elbow down towards the left leg. I just think, oh my God, it's one of those days. I'm far too relaxed today. If you can, maybe touch your toes. And then what I'm going to get you to do is then start to stretch over that side for me. So bringing both hands to stretch over that left leg. Really important here to get this stretch, pull the toes towards your face, make sure the legs not limp, pull the toes towards the face and really stretch into here. Try and sort of turn yourself so that your chest can rest onto the leg wherever you may be at and try and pull that leg if you're there. If you're not, just hold on to here. So we're aiming to look over here and just take the nice deep breaths. Keep that toe pointing up so your kneecap is working, your quads are working. Might be burning, if they do, you come out of it. Okay, lovely. Walk the hands back up, come back to centre. Take a deep breath in as you exhale, bring the right hand maybe to the right shin or the right foot. And then if you feel okay here and you're comfortable, pull that toe up, engage the kneecap, engage the quads bring yourself over into this position. So make sure we're facing this way onto here. Try not to arch, try and make sure the movement's coming from the hip. And just hang out here. How does this feel? What does this feel like? You might need to just be here, you might need to be here. Wherever you can to feel that stretch into the hamstrings and the calf muscles. You might even feel this through the back of the, the foot as well in the plantar fascia. Um, that's really good to stretch out, especially if you're getting plantar fasciitis. Okay, so take some nice deep breaths here. Yeah. 
And when you're ready, come back to centre, bring both feet in front of you, point the toes towards you, inhale, rise up, exhale, we're going to come forward for a forward fold, really important, point them toes towards your face, inhale, make sure you come from the hips here. So as you come forward, imagine you're trying to stretch and reach for something, and then you're going to come down. So we're not sort of hunching here. So we're going to come up and then down. And it might be that you just want to be in this position here. Make sure them toes are pointed. If you can grab your toes, Bill, brilliant, you can pull them up. But if not, just keep the hands onto the shins. And just take some time here. Now what we're not doing is dropping the head here. It's like we put a lot of pressure on the neck. So try and keep the neck neutral with the spine to the crown of the head running all the way down. And just hang out here. Maybe pull in the belly button to notice what you're feeling. And just take that time here with that breath to notice what that feels like. Inhaling maybe for four and exhaling for four. When you're ready, slowly come back out, walk your hands. If you can, we're going to cross them legs back over. You're then going to point the hands, so place them just behind your bum, point the hands towards your bum, and we're going to go for a little back bend now. So what you're going to do is make sure the hands are grounded into the floor, and just start to lift the bum up the, bum off the floor, and maybe look up and arch the back here. So you, your heart's really pointing upwards. We're not we're not arching down, we're really arching up. If you can, maybe drop the head, but be careful with the neck. If not, keep the head neutral. And just hold this position until it's movement. When you're ready, exhale, come down. I'm going to come on to on all fours. Of course we are, it's one of my favourite things. So, in this on all four position, we're going to start with what we call thread the needle. So really important again, just make sure you're nice and warmed up. So maybe move through the wrists just to get some movement into the wrists here. Warm them wrists up. Yeah. So we're gonna thread the needle. You're gonna take the right hand, you're gonna swoop the right hand up to the top. You're gonna be twisting. So we're in a twisting position. That right hand, is going to be reaching up here. Okay? Really notice that twist. When you're ready, we're going to thread the needle, we're going to thread the hand. We're going to take the right hand down and through, and if you can, come and rest onto the arm in this position. I'm going to show you that from the side. The threading. I'm coming down into this position. So the hips are high and we're resting here. You're going to push through the left hand, bring yourself back up, and you're going to take that hand all the way to the top here, really stretch round, and then we're going to thread the needle again, but then take the leg movement. So thread that needle through, Bring it onto the shoulder, the arm to rest. Place the head onto the floor. Use the left hand for support. If you're able to, you're then going to take the left leg. You're going to take the left leg back here. So to do this, you really need your core switched on. Okay, this can be really difficult, especially if you're not thinking about sort of the muscles that should be working. So really tuck the core in. If you can get in your balance, you're then going to take. That left leg up towards the sky and you're going to hold it here. Release down, come back to the centre, take the hand back up, thread the needle back through, take it up again and then we're going to add in a little bit more of a twist. We're going to thread that needle back through, you've got it, same position. We're now going to get you to take your left hand and see if you can open your left hand to sort of look towards the ceiling. Okay. If you can, place the left hand onto the base of your spine 
and twist your chest, you're opening your heart out. So you're really opening here. If this is enough, stay in this position breathing. If not, you can then take the left leg here, back, and to really use the core and the glutes, you then lift the left leg up and you're gonna hold. Now this should be burning. So it's a really tough, it looks so simple, but it's so tough on all the muscles. You might want to take the leg a little bit higher. When you're ready, drop the leg, bring the knee back in, use the left hand to push up, back onto on all fours. Oh, we're feeling it. Okay, we're gonna do the same exactly again, but on the other side, don't you, aren't you happy to know? So, we're gonna thread the needle. So this time, we're gonna go for the opposite side in that position. So, we're gonna place the right hand down, we're gonna take the left arm, up to the ceiling here. You're then going to thread that needle through. So we're threading the needle through, placing the arm onto the floor and maybe the head here. And just notice what this position feels like. Make sure the hips are up in the air. When you're ready, push through that right hand Bring yourself back up and extend out and open. Maybe look towards the thing, fingers. If, you, if it's too much on your neck, keep your neck looking to the side. Okay. When you're ready, we're going to thread the needle again, taking the arm up. We're going to thread through. We're going to add the leg variation. If the leg's too much, just hang out here. So in this position, Take your right leg back, engage the core, lift the right leg up, make sure the toes are pointing down because this engages the glute muscles. And you're gonna hold this, taking a nice deep breath. Make sure everything's engaged. You may want to go a little bit higher. And just hold this. When you're ready, touch the toe down, return the knee, push through the right hand, Thread the needle back up, twist all the way up, open up and back to threading the needle. We've got the leg variation and the arm variation now. So, if you're staying here and hanging out, take them deep breaths in through the nose and out for four. If you're coming with me, we're taking the right hand up to the ceiling and this might be enough for your twisting. If not, the next progression is placing the hand onto the lower sequence, the lower part of the back. Try and twist and open, open up here through the thoracic spine. Once you're in this position and you're open and feeling comfortable, you then might want to take the right leg out and then lift that right leg up in this position. Engage the core, engage the glutes, lift a little bit higher and hold it here. Pressing through this hand as well for your stability. If you need to come down, just tap the toe. As a progression, you may want to go for toe taps. You may want to lift up and into it. When you're ready, bring that knee back down. Use the right hand and come back up onto your on all fours position. Cool, so that's a really good one for getting the spine rotating. A lot of us spend so much time bending and actually extending, we forget about rotation. And actually rotation of our spine is really important. We need that when we walk, we need that natural swagger and that comes through rotation. So they can be really, really good to help um, to loosen the spine off. Okay, on to the on all four position now. We're gonna go through a very gentle flow and then we're gonna finish just because we've warmed up through the body quite nicely. So we're gonna come into that downward facing dog. So you're gonna make sure you tuck your toes. We're gonna to activate the core. You're gonna hover. Lizzie's favorite thing to do because it really gets us into that good position. So you're gonna hover the knees up. You're then gonna push the hips up into your downward dog. Downward facing dog, this might be your first one of the day. So you might find that your knees need to be slightly bent if you find that you can't touch the floor. That's absolutely fine. So if them heels can't go flat, don't worry about it, bend at the knees. Make sure you're pushing through the hands, make sure everything's nice and aligned, 
Make sure the head's relaxed, biceps are next to the ears. Okay, in this position, I'm going to get you to either step, hop, or jump to the front of your mat by bending the knees here, jumping and coming in to that halfway lift. So for the halfway lift, slight bend in the knee, maybe bring the hands to the shin here, everything nice and flat. You're going to take a deep breath in. As you exhale, forward fold. Now make sure you've got a slight bend in the knee, try and bring your chest towards your thighs, so there's not too much pressure. We're then going to go for a rag doll. You're going to take hold of either elbow, let the head be heavy, let the crown of the head go towards the floor, and just rock from side to side here in this rag doll position. Let everything relax, maybe close the eyes off, don't forget about your breathing. If you feel able to, now with some movement, maybe start just straightening the legs a little bit more. But just sway. When you're ready, take a deep breath in. Bring the hands to the shins. Exhale, stand all the way to the top. Palms meet at the top and come into this position here. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna go through a little bit of a flow before we finish. Make sure you're grounding down. Inhale all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold at the hips into your halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold here. Inhale, hands to your halfway lift to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe bring the hands to the mat or to the feet. You're then going to step the left foot Back into our low lunge, knees gonna come onto the floor, maybe a pillow underneath if you're struggling. You're then gonna just take a nice stretch into here. So you might need to come onto your fingertips or you can go flat here. And let's try and get as flat as we can to try and stretch out these hips. So you might want a little bit of movement here. Sometimes if you've got yoga blocks, they can be quite nice to help to stretch. So let's just get a stretch into these hips a little bit here. So move from side to side. Now we're going to start to stretch into the right hamstring. What you're going to do is you're going to bring your hands behind you slightly. You're then going to roll back onto this position so that your hip is in line with your knee. So you're sort of rolling backwards, but we're not sitting. We're making this an active stretch. You're then going to pull your toe towards your face, come up, and then bend over that front leg to feel that stretch here. And hold. Try and push that hip away so you can stretch through here. This might be screaming at you. If it does, come back up. You might want some movement into this hamstring, so maybe you're moving that from right to left. Oh, that can be a burner. Okay, take them breaths for me here. When you're ready, come back up onto that front foot, lift the back leg up, and then go back to your downward facing dog from here into that position. Just take a few moments here in your downward facing dog. Make sure pubic symphysis, the pubic bone is pointing down towards the feet. Make sure the hips are high. Bend the knees if you're struggling. And just take some moments here in your downward dog before we go back into that little flow and stretch out the other side. So you're either gonna walk, hop, or jump, whatever you want, to the front of the mat. Once you've jumped, go into that forward fold position. You might be warm enough now for the hands to touch the floor. Let the head and crown relax. Take a deep breath in. As you inhale, come up to halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, swoop all the way to the top and come back to center. We're gonna do the other side now. Inhale, the arms up to the top. Exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale now, step the right leg, getting the sides back. Lower that right knee, you may need to move this left leg forward 
And we're gonna go into that little bit of a stretch again here, okay? So you might want movement here. You might just wanna be still. Try and stretch forward into that position here, okay? So just take a few breaths in this low lunge to notice where you're feeling that tightness. Good. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take that little hamstring stretch before we finish. Take the hands slightly behind. You're then gonna roll back onto the right knee. You're then gonna pull up the left leg, so point that toes. You're then gonna forward fold over that leg to stretch. So we're not dipping, we're staying upright. And just notice where for you that movement is. Maybe try and transfer your weight more to the left. Does that make the stretch deeper? Maybe moving the leg from side to side to get into the hamstrings. And just with your own breath, take a few moments here to feel what that hamstring's doing. Maybe come lower, maybe come higher. When you're ready, come back into that low lunge. Place the hands either side of the foot. Lift the right foot up, right knee, and then step back to your downward facing dog. And then from here, come onto the knees, take a child's pose, taking the legs nice and wide. So child's pose, if you've not done one before, make sure your bum sat onto your heels. Walk the hands forwards and come into this nice child's pose in this position. Forehead maybe to the mat, forehead maybe onto a pillow, a cushion, or rest in this position. And just take a few moments here with the breath. When you're ready, we're going to come into our relaxation posture. Using the hands, bring yourself back up. Swiggle your legs to the side and we're going to come into a lying posture now. We're going to go into our relaxation posture. So to get into this position, place the feet flat onto the mat. Imagine you're pulling two pieces of rope. We're going to lower down to the mat really slowly, working the core before we finish. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, start to come down. Try and move each vertebra at a time. Keep breathing here. Keep the feet in contact and we're using the core. So when you get to about here, you might find that the core's starting to shake. Don't let it go. Really nice and slow. So you're doing that last little bit of work. Keep that belly tucked in. Keep breathing. Hold it. You should be shaking. Don't embrace it. And then release down to the mat. Take the left foot out to the side, giving it a wiggle. Take the right foot out to the side, giving it a wiggle. The feet naturally fall out, the hips naturally fall out. Placing the hands down beside the hips, make sure the hands, palms are facing up, fingers naturally curl round. Make sure the shoulder blades are onto the mat, make sure the neck is grounded into the mat, and try and make yourself as comfortable as you can in this position here. And just notice what your breath's doing, Notice your heart rate. Notice how you feel now. Do you feel more relaxed? Do the muscles feel heavy? In a moment, we're gonna work through a progressive muscle relaxation to finish. So with a progressive muscle relaxation, this involves tensing the muscles and then relaxing the muscles. So we're gonna start from the feet and work our way up. Really important that if you get cramp at any point, you stop. But the main emphasis is noticing the difference, how it felt before and how it feels afterwards. So making sure the eyes are closed off here. I'm gonna play some music on, and we're gonna start at the feet. Bring awareness to your feet. Point your toes away from you, stretching the top 
part of your feet. When you are ready, relax both feet. On your next inhale, take a deep breath in through the nose. Pull the toes towards your face, stretching the foot and the calf muscles. As you exhale, release. Notice the feet naturally falling out to the side. On your next inhale, breathe in, point the toes towards the face, push the kneecaps down into the floor, squeeze the quads, the thigh muscles, and on your exhale, release all the muscles in your lower legs. The legs naturally falling out at the hips. The legs heavy. Notice any sensations, any warmth, any tingling. On your next inhale, breathe in, squeeze and clench your buttock muscles, and on your exhale, <sighs> release and let go. On your next inhale, pull your belly button, push your spine against the mat, and as you exhale, release, letting the belly relax, the low back relax. Notice the difference in a relaxed and a tensed muscle. On your next inhale, make a fist with your hands. As you exhale, release, allowing the hands to naturally fall, fingers curling in. Notice any heat, notice any warm sensations. On your next inhale, Bring your shoulders towards your ears, hold, and as you exhale, release the shoulders down back by your side. Again, with your next breath, repeat this, taking the shoulders up towards the ears, noticing how this tightness feels and what it does to your body. As you exhale, allow the shoulders to drop and relax. Remember this position. On your next inhale, open the mouth as wide as you can. As you exhale, release all the mouth muscles. Notice any tension in the jaw. On your next inhale, squeeze the muscles of your eyes and your forehead, scrunch the face, and as you release, allow the muscles to be heavy, the forehead smooth, the eyebrows relaxed, the eyelids heavy, the eyes falling back, into the socket. You are now relaxed from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head. Notice the difference between a relaxed and a tense muscle. If you feel tense at any time, you can simply work through this process to help relax the body, incorporating the breath to dull down that fight or flight response.
when you are ready, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring some awareness back to the room. And maybe rolling onto your favorite side. Take a moment in this side position to notice how you feel now. You have moved your body. Bodies are designed to be moved. In your own time, bring yourself up into that seated position. Slowly start to open the eyes. Have a move around with the shoulders. Notice how this feels to the beginning to the end of the session. Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully you feel nice and relaxed and movable. It's really important that we keep moving our bodies, especially if we're at home, and especially if we're working from home. Just doing this little simple exercise once, twice a week can make such a difference. And it does make you feel so much better. Movement gets endorphins. We mentioned the importance of breathing and taking the nice, slow, deep, relaxing breaths in and how that can help with our stress response. And just keeping us a little bit more zen, guys. That's what it's about at the moment. And of course, having a little drum where you can do that as well. Thanks for everyone for joining. <laughs>